What is Kuan Yin statue meaning, usage, placement in Feng Shui? Kuan Yin statue is one of Buddhism's most beloved deities in Taoism and a number of cultures and nations. Her image and statue are presented in many respects. In her image or statue, children can be around her or she can be portrayed riding a dragon. In other portrayals of her statue, she can carry the perils of enlightenment or spill out from a holy vase the nectars of wisdom and love. In different countries, she goes by slightly various identities also known as Kuan Yin and Guan Yin. In China, she is called Kuan Yin, in Thailand, she is referred to as Prame Kuan Yin while in Korea she is called Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin statue means a great benefactor and protector. Kuan Yin is amongst the most famous goddesses in the ancient practice of Feng Shui. She is mostly referenced as the goddess of mercy and justice. History of Kuan Yin Statue Kuan Yin is amongst the most prominent deities in the Temple of Asia, especially on their altars. Among all the Buddhist gods, Kuan Yin is revered and loved rather than being terrified. Kuan Yin is the paradigm of Chinese elegance. Kuan Yin is often referred to as a goddess of compassion. The Chinese goddess was initially a man before the beginning of the 12th century and has developed since then from Avalokitesvara which is her prototype. The merciful master of absolute enlightenment is Avalokitesvara, an Indian bodhisattva who preferred to stay on earth to help relieve the pain instead of indulging in Nirvanese ecstasies. Among Kuan Yin goddess many tales are that she was a Buddhist who had gained the right to reach nirvana beyond death through tremendous selfless love during his lifetime. But as Avalokitesvara did, she heard a scream of agony from underneath earth right before the portals of paradise. She returned to earth and gave up her recompense of everlasting bliss. But in place of everlasting bliss, she found eternity itself in the heart of sorrowful folks and people in anguish. In China, she has several titles and she is often referred to as Great Grace, Great Pity, Redemption from Suffering, Salvation out of Woe. Kuan Yin is a condensed title for the one who sees the human world's distress. She is both a fertile and merciful deity. Specially idolized by women, the divine deity consoles the distressed, the poor, the distressed, the senile, and the unhappy. Kuan Yin Statue Meaning there is no other deity in the Chinese shrines that has a broader range of images, thousands of various embodiments or manifestations than Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin's Statue Meaning Kuan Yin's statue is normally portrayed as a barefoot, elegant woman wearing a lovely white swirling dress, gracefully covered with a white scarf over her head with a tiny upturned vessel of the holy tube. However, when it comes to leguistic form, Kuan Yin is portrayed as fully nude in bronze during China and Tibet's 18th century. Image of Kuan Yin Meaning Image of Kuan Yin can also be portrayed as, she can sit on a stalk of elephants, sit on a fish, feed an infant, carry a basket, have six or a thousand limbs and one or eight heads, eight or thirty hands that she seeks to rely in vain the sorrow of miserable people. Kuan Yin Picture Meaning Kuan Yin pictures and statue is also represented as riding a Honon mythological horse, a bit like a Buddhist lion, indicative of Kuan Yin's spiritual dominance of natural powers. The consistent consistency is her bare feet. Kuan Yin is always accompanied by two disciples on public altars, a barefoot young man with his hands clenched together in prayer at her right side. This young man is referred to as Golden Youth. At Kwan's left side, a maid keeps her hands within her sleeves. This maid at her left side is referenced as Jade Maiden. Several hundreds of Kuan Yin sculptures have been created from the ancient Qing period to date. Significance of Kuan Yin in Feng Shui Her heart is filled with love to help and affection, a great defender and beneficiary, and her strength are like God. Kuan Yin is thus accepted in many procedures of Feng Shui and is one of the most common and spiritual Feng Shui treatments. She is confronted with all problems, difficulties, or concerns because of her dedication to serving humans. No problem is too great for Kuan Yin's maternal and all energy, 
be it families, careers, well-being, or relationships. In reality, the words sympathy and pity are not the best representation of the strength of Kuan Yin. The Kuan Yin emotion is similar to what a woman has for her baby. Kuan Yin's emotion towards humans is heavily caring and supportive, which is far better energy than normal love. In seasonal Feng Shui flying star implementations, Kuan Yin can be an effective remedy. A Kuan Yin statue colored white is a marvelous Feng Shui treatment for the Western Bagua region, as the color white expresses the Western aspect of the metal Feng Shui. The best sculpture of Kuan Yin that can be used in Feng Shui depends on the form of cure you like. In Feng Shui, you could use a Kuan Yin figure. Set up the statue in your life's domain, which will benefit from Kuan Yin's extraordinary powers in you. Common Rules for Kuan Yin's Placement in the House Discover where its energy in a certain year is most required and then put your Kuan Yin statue in the place. Kuan Yin statues are depicted in various positions. You can place the Kuan Yin statue in the garden, inside the home, office. To decide if it is necessary to heal or correct your Feng Shui, consider the poses and symbols to photographed in Kuan Yin's statue. Assess your field of life and align the statue to the relevant sector in your life that needs it. The color of the Kuan Yin sculpture can be aligned with the prominent color that rules that sector. Before placing the statue, you can take note of the type of component used in making the statue, including metal and wood, and the sector that regulates the element. Ensure that the statue faces your house to shield those in your family, never let the statue face outside. If you want to transform the security and benevolent energy of deity Kuan Yin, you can place the statue in other Feng Shui positions instead of a particular area. You may place the statue of your Kuan Yin right outside the door for instance. How to respectfully display a Kuan Yin statue Based on the goddess's pose and how it corresponds to the region or area where you want a Feng Shui cure or Qi energy enhancement, you can select the best location and display the Kuan Yin statue. There are a few things you should think about first, including Evaluate the sector of your life that needs attention and fit the statue to the appropriate sector. The color of the Kuan Yin painting can be matched to the color of the sector of your life that needs attention. Note the type of material used to create the statue, such as metal or wood, as well as the sector that element governs. Common Kuan Yin Statue Poses Kuan Yin is usually depicted as a barefooted, gracious young woman wrapped in a white flowing robe with a hood draping over the top of her head. Royal necklaces from the China dynasty and the Indian royalty can be found on the goddess's neck. The different poses of the Kuan Yin statues are based on what she is holding, some things she is seen holding a baby, rice, sometimes it can be pearls or willow branch, a sacred vase, and other things. What is Kuan Yin holding? The goddess carries a jar of pure, holy water in one of Kuan Yin's statue poses. She also holds a myrtle branch in another pose. One of the goddess's poses shows her carrying children in her embrace. In some statues of Kuan Yin, she is seen distributing food to the hungry in another pose. The goddess Kuan Yin is portrayed in some pose, meditating with her hands in holy mudras in some Kuan Yin sculptures. Kuan Yin is often depicted holding a bunch of ripe rice or pearls of brightness in another depiction. The Kuan Yin goddess carries a willow branch on one side and a holy vase on the other, all of which are overflowing with the nectar of wisdom and love that she is steadily pouring out to humankind in one of her poses. What to do with broken Kuan Yin statue? It's preferable if you can patch it. It is preferable not to discard the broken Kuan Yin statue because she is actually now a part of your soul. If the statue is destroyed, the fragments should be wrapped in a red cloth and buried in a clean location in the town outskirts, or they should be R to the temple to be dealt with by the monks. Where to bury a broken Kuan Yin statue? If your statue falls or is destroyed, it should be reverently disposed of. Never throw away a Kuan Yin statue. Instead, it should be buried outside, or a Buddhist monastery should be contacted. 
it's up to the monks whether they hold it or bury it. This is true to all Kuan Yin images and statues, including those that have not been blessed or bought from a temple. How many types of Kuan Yin exist? There exists only one type of Kuan Yin but through many traditions, the goddess is being called a different name which led to the belief that there exist many types of goddess. FAQs on Kuan Yin Statue Q1, which fruits to offer goddess Kuan Yin while burning for prayer. There is no particular offering that is mandatory. You can offer any seasonal fruit to goddess Kuan Yin. Like oranges, apples, pears, bananas. Conclusion The Kuan Yin statue goddess exists in various forms due to diversity in culture and traditions, but the significance is the same across all traditions. The goddess through many testimonies has been believed to help in various ways.